Why did the world's first fully robotic hotel in Japan failed, where people were completely replaced by robots with artificial intelligence? Specialists from Edge Innovations have created a dolphin robot that is indistinguishable from a real animal. Such robots could potentially replace real dolphins in theme parks, allowing all living animals to be released from captivity. The team at Hagiwara Laboratory is developing an artificial brain for next-generation robots. Additionally, who are humanoid robot animatronics, and why are they already among us? These and other high-tech news in one video. Considerations about replacing hotel staff with robots gained renewed interest among hotel owners after the onset of the pandemic. While most proposals revolve around partial AI replacement, some employers seriously contemplate having robots do all the work instead of humans, eliminating the need for salaries and vacations. However, history remembers an attempt to establish a fully robotic hotel, the Henna Hotel in Japan, which operated nearly without humans from 2015 to 2019. Initially marketed as the world's first fully robot-serviced hotel, Henna opened in 2015 near an amusement park in Sasebo. Starting with just 80 different robots intended to compensate for the staff shortage, the hotel's ownership company saw to attract more tourists. They continuously added new robots, promoting themselves as a hotel exclusively run by machines. By the beginning of 2019, the count reached nearly 250 robots, earning the hotel a place in the Guinness World Records as the first fully robotic hotel. It featured robot concierges, robot porters, automated luggage storage, and more. Each room even had a service robot that provided weather forecasts, woke guests at the desired time, and turned off lights. Plans were in place to introduce drone food delivery from a nearby restaurant shortly after the opening. However, things took an unexpected turn. Just four years later, the hotel owners announced their intention to more than halve the robot workforce. The cost-cutting and staff-reducing experiment unfortunately failed, as many robots malfunctioned, and some guests found them intrusive. For instance, the raptor-shaped robot at the reception desk never learned to copy guests' passports. The assistant robot struggled with simple requests, easily handled by a smartphone voice assistant. The room service robot mistook guest snores as a signal to activate, waking them with the question, how may I assist you? Henna's administration admitted that over the four years, most robots became outdated. Despite reducing reliance on inefficient robots, the hotel owners are not completely abandoning them, stating that only a few machines perform tasks better than humans. Instead of ineffective robots, the hotel has hired people to adhere to hospitality industry standards. However, as robots become increasingly advanced, especially with the development of neural networks, it is conceivable that robots might eventually fully replace humans in industries such as the hotel business. A team of scientists from the Hagiwara Laboratory at Japan's private Keio University is developing an artificial brain for next-generation robots. This brain will be capable of comprehensively analyzing video, audio, and emotional information. Robots will be able to meaningfully interact with humans in various aspects of everyday life. In simpler terms, machines will become more human-like. The processing of visual information will be carried out through neural networks that recognize objects using mechanisms based on experience and intuition. In this way, scientists will eliminate the need for a vast database of three-dimensional templates. The neural network in the robot's brain will enable it to learn and acquire new experiences. Under the control of this new brain, the robot will accumulate acquired knowledge and be able to register all human emotions and feelings. By accumulating sufficient data, robots will be able to correlate emotional components with other types of information, allowing them to become carriers of emotions and feelings akin to human ones. This $3 million hyperrealistic robotic dolphin may one day free captive dolphins all over the world through a combination of mechanical innovation and high-tech puppetry. Edge Innovation's robotic dolphin Dell weighs more than 500 pounds and measures 8.5 feet long, about the same size as a real bottlenose dolphin. But what makes Dell so incredible is her medical-grade silicone skin and smooth mechanical movements, which make her appear so real that it's almost impossible to distinguish her from a real dolphin on looks alone. Edge Innovations explains that Dell the Robo Dolphin comes to life through a mix of puppeteering, programming, and artificial intelligence. There is hope at Edge Innovations that animatronic dolphins can one day replace the wild animals kept in captivity for marine park attractions. In 2023, there were 3,029 dolphins in captivity in marine parks around the world, an industry that generates between $1.1 and $5.5 billion a year, as estimated by World Animal Protection. Most of those dolphins are kept in five countries, China, Japan, the United States, Mexico, Mexico and Russia in descending order of quantity. These vibrant and intelligent creatures would typically enjoy ranges of 100 square kilometers, 38.6 square miles in the wild, but are instead kept in enclosures 77,000 times smaller and forced to perform for crowds. Sadly, we cannot simply free every dolphin bred in captivity and replace them with Dell, since most lack the natural skills they need to survive in the wild. But by slowly phasing in robotic dolphins instead of breeding new ones in captivity, 
Edge Innovations believes we could achieve a world without captive dolphins. Let's talk about animatronics and why are they already among us. Animatronics are robot characters that look and move like living creatures. They are created to impress people and evoke admiration. They are often used in the entertainment industry, movies, amusement parks, and other places where impressive entities are needed. But can animatronics think and feel? Inside animatronics, there are mechanisms and motors that control movements and articulation, allowing them to perform various tasks. Additionally, electronic systems, sensors, and software are used to control the actions of animatronics. The materials used to create animatronics are diverse, including metal, plastic, rubber, or other suitable materials that provide strength, flexibility, and realistic movements. The skins of animatronics are usually covered with soft materials such as silicone to create a natural appearance and texture. Animatronics can mimic various types of creatures, from animals and birds to monsters, robots, and even humans. Special effects, sound signals, and lighting details are also often integrated into animatronics to enhance the realism and create a unique atmosphere. Scientists acknowledge the significance of animatronics in the entertainment industry and other areas where they are applied. Animatronics can create amazing visual and interactive effects, captivating and engaging the audience. They can be used for educational purposes, in medicine, and in other fields where visualization and demonstration of specific concepts or processes are required. However, it should be noted that animatronics do not possess their own consciousness or awareness. They are programmable machines that perform predefined tasks and movements. They lack emotions or the ability for independent thought. In this aspect, scientists agree that animatronics are technological tools and artificial constructs. Scientists also view animatronics in terms of their potential applications and development. They explore possibilities for improving animatronics, incorporating new technologies, and developing more complex systems capable of creating even more realistic and interactive characters. In the future, animatronic creators plan to use artificial intelligence to enable them to react to their environment, perform more complex tasks, and resemble us even more. A future where machines can resemble living creatures has already arrived, and with the development of neural networks, robots may become part of society, replacing humans and service industries or substituting animals in zoos. Thanks to robots, we may travel back to the Jurassic period and witness how real dinosaurs looked. Advanced technologies will allow people to recreate prehistoric creatures so realistically that we may not be able to distinguish them from living beings. One example of future animatronic robots is Rocket, one of the main characters in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. The bold and furry creature from the famous movie is loved by both children and adults. In the film, the character was brought to life using computer graphics, and at Disney California Adventure Park, his animatronic counterpart performed successfully. Just like on the big screen, the charming rocket speaks with the voice of Bradley Cooper. The animatronic robot looks remarkably authentic and is on par with its animated counterpart. The incredibly impressive animatronic head was created to promote the Siemens Biograph MMR medical system by the special effects development company Legacy Effects. The body part looks frighteningly realistic, and the facial expressions are nearly indistinguishable from human ones. Earlier Legacy Effects staff were involved in developing animatronic creatures for various cinematic masterpieces, including dinosaurs for the film Jurassic World. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. Goodbye.